I started off my pharmacy degree in Leicester, 1982-83. Uh, and after that I was a little bit uncertain as to what to do sort of career wise so I ended up doing a pre-registration in hospital. I worked for a couple of years as a manager and then the opportunity came up in 88 to own my own pharmacy and four years later I bought um, a shop uh, here in Neath which actually was the, the pharmacy I used to visit as a, as a young child so it had sort of quite a lot of nostalgic value. After a few years then it started to get that much busier that we re relocated to our current premises which was in 2004 and during that time really you know the business has, has grown and become well established in the local community and now looking really sort of capitalise and, and develop further with, uh, with services. Wendy do me a favour have you got any of these back? Cause I really felt services would be the way forward but and also I think having a sort of unique selling point and really using your personality and, and local involvement um, to make your pharmacy attractive. Um, so hence I thought, hey, you know, being a pharmacist is all supposed to be about healthcare, not selling nappies and so on. Do I really want to take um, all the sort of non-medical items with me? To which the answer was no, because obviously sales were declining year on year anyway. Um, so when we opened the pharmacy here, we really just dealt with anything medical. So we only sell medicines, we only sort of deal with prescriptions. And then obviously health services then are a way, obviously, of boosting business, but also providing a, a valuable service to the local community. <laughs> we went through the investors in people process, um, which we attained in the year 2000. So we had the, that training framework there, but obviously when we moved, we knew we had to step up a gear. And obviously I knew if I was going to concentrate on, on really sort of taking these services forward that I'd need more time. So hence I've tried to delegate as much as I possibly can. Um, Wendy, my um, senior dispenser, became a check-in technician. So that effectively has allowed me to sort of get out of the dispensary. Barbara and Lee, who have been with me a number of years and I'm doing the NPA NVQ3 qualification. Um, Yvonne had worked for me quite a long time as a, as a dispensing assistant and um, then became a healthcare assistant. Um, so she's now managing the um, Lipotrim weight loss programme we have. We've been developing it for the last couple of years. It's very, very popular now and we've had some really good success with it. And um, what I like about it as well is that we, we're just not here for the quick fix. Um, Alison's very sort of supportive, you know, we support our people and we look for sort of um, healthy eating plans because that's what we want to do to stop the yo yoing and it's great, it's really good. Judith and Chris are not only our delivery dr drivers but I also think they're ambassadors to the local community because they really get out there and tell everybody about our services and also feedback to us as well. I think the outcome for staff is I, I think they feel more appreciated and more valued and I think that's the biggest you know single factor. Um, they feel very much involved in the business development and hopefully they really see my vision of where the business is going. I think the future challenge with the way we work is always going to be time because it might sound very rosy having a team that does a lot of work for you but if you expect people to do a lot of work for you and take on a lot of roles then you have to have the time to invest in them. Um, so a lot of my job has, has changed. I might have escaped from the dispensary but in effect I have to facilitate my staff being able to do those jobs so it involves me investing in training and communication you really have to have a lot of time to make sure that they're always on board you know always getting your vision and understanding where we're going I guess my biggest bit of advice to other pharmacists would be a it's not going to be easy it does take a lot of time um, but it is ultimately very rewarding not only in the fact that it's become more so professionally rewarding for me because I'm now doing the job I thought I would be doing when I first qualified, you know, I'm able to spend time with, with customers, see into their needs, you know, I'm able to do services, I'm able to do medicine use reviews, um, but obviously there is a sort of time challenge as well. Um, the other advice I would probably give would be, if at all possible, to get involved with something like Investors in People, because it does give you the framework with which to go forward, and also it's very useful as well uh, when dealing with things like local health boards and, and PCTs, that you've already got some of the, the boxes ticked to answer many of their questions in relation to sort of staff development and quality. I really feel, uh, for a number of years now, that um, with the team that I have, that we're really ready for, for any challenge.